Welcome to this module where we start to look at the text in your document. Now the building block, of course, for Word documents is text. So we'll start by making sure we can get that text to look the way we want to in our sentences and paragraphs. To start things out, let's open up a blank Word document. To do that, simply go to the Backstage view. So click on that File tab, click on New, and then click on a blank document in our list of templates here. So that brings us just the equivalent of a blank sheet of paper. And now let's start to add text to that document. Let's do that with a little shortcut that adds lorem ipsum text very quickly. And lorem ipsum text is Latin text that's used in placeholder types of uses all the time. So all you need to do to get that started is type in equals lorem, L-O-R-E-M, and then begin parentheses, in parentheses. So once you do that and hit enter on your keyboard or return, you get five paragraphs that look like that. And this of course is something that can be helpful as you create your documents because sometimes as you are creating them, you don't know exactly what text you want to add to the document. Maybe you just want a box of text and you know you want it to go on the left hand or right hand side and you just want to mock it up with some Latin text, this lorem ipsum text can do the job. Now, as we get started with this task of controlling our text, let's first make sure that we have our ruler enabled. Now, it should be enabled by default, but if it's not, make sure and go to the View tab, and then under the Show Grouping, click on Ruler. Make sure that that is checked there so that you can see the rulers on the top and on the left-hand side of your document. Now let's get started by moving back to the Home tab of the ribbon and then by selecting this first paragraph of text. Now we can select with just a simple drag and drop operation or you can double click to select a word or you can triple click to select the entire paragraph. So either drag and drop the entire paragraph or give that paragraph a triple click to select the entire paragraph's worth of text. So now that it is selected, you can see visually that it is selected, let's go to the paragraph grouping here and look at some of these options. Specifically, let's look at these two, increase and decrease indent. So we're gonna click on this one and see what happens. If you click it once, it indents the paragraph by a half an inch and you can verify that in the ruler. You see this little indicator here. These are the tab stops and the indent indicators and these will all move simultaneously when you click on that increase indent. So let me click it twice to bring our left indent over one inch. Now, a question you may have is how do I do the same thing on the right hand side? Do I click on this button here? There's a little arrow, maybe the icon is showing me that we're going to increase the indent from the right hand side. But in fact, this is the decrease indent button. And you can see that all I'm doing is just removing what I did before, I'm just decreasing the indent by half an inch every time. So that increases the indent, that decreases the left indent. If I want to increase the right indent, now I open up the dialog box for the paragraph settings. So this little icon becomes important to know about, and that's why we spent time understanding the elements of the ribbon. Give this a click, open up the paragraph dialog box, and in the indents and spacing tab on the right side here, all I have to do is give this a click, or if I select here, it will let me enter in a specific value. So if I type in 0.5, not five, because that indents five inches, but if it's 0.5, that will be a half an inch, and it can vary depending on your part of the world, whether or not we're using inches or centimeters and so on. But I don't have to use the inches indicator. All I have to do is click on OK. And now you see here the result of that right indent. You can also verify this in the ruler that this indent indicator, this right indent indicator, went from here to here. Let's do that one more time. Let's open up that paragraph dialog box. And I want to point out this section at the bottom, this preview section. If I type in a different value, 
and then hit the tab or I click somewhere else in this dialog box, the preview will give me an indicator of what that will look like. This is a live preview. You won't see the change already in the document, but you can get an idea of how it will affect the document by looking in this preview section. So once again, I am going to click on OK. All right, we'll leave that here for now. We have opened up a new document, we have added text, and we have controlled the indent, and we now have some building blocks to work with in the lessons that follow. All right, we've started our journey of learning how to control the text and paragraphs in our document. So let's take that one step further and look at vertical spacing. So it's probably a good idea to take note of the defaults on a default blank sheet of paper that you get with Word 2016. And to do that, to kind of investigate what that spacing is going to look like, it's a good idea to come up to the paragraph settings button up here in the paragraph grouping of the ribbon. Give it a click, and you see here we're dealing mostly with this, that the spacing says this, before zero, after eight, line spacing multiple at 1.08. Well, what this essentially means is that if you use the default Word template, the line spacing for documents is not a single space, but a little bit greater than that. It's 1.08 spaces between lines. And then after a paragraph, there's eight points of spacing. So you can see that reflected here. You see that you know, this kind of looks like single spacing. I mean, it's hard to, to just eyeball it and know exactly. That's why we look at the paragraph settings dialog box. But that's a little bit greater than single space text. And then after a paragraph, we have more than a single space. We have eight points separating uh, the end of one paragraph and the beginning of another paragraph. That's what's going on. So if you want to change all of that, there's, of course, a couple different ways to do it. One is that you could, of course, select text first. You could select uh, your paragraph settings, your spacing settings first, and then start typing your documents. But in this case here, I'll just once again give this paragraph a triple click. Give it a double click first, but there we go. There's a triple click. So I selected the whole paragraph. And I can use this button here to configure the line and paragraph spacing. So if I give this a click, the nice thing about using the ribbon, of course, is this live preview capability. And it should let me see the results of using double spacing or two and a half uh, line spacing before I even make the click of the button. So there's space and a half, double space, you get the idea. I can also click on this, line spacing options, and it brings me back to the paragraph dialog box. So lots of different ways to open up this paragraphs dialog box, and then I can change the spacing to double and something like that. So the only difference between using the ribbon and the paragraph settings dialog box is whether or not you'll get that live preview. So now I'm going to undo that. And once again, this is configuring the spacing of an existing paragraph, or of course, if I'm starting a new paragraph, I can set my spacing to double space, and then when I start typing, and in fact I'll just do equals lorem, if I spell lorem correctly, and there's double spaced paragraphs. Now, there is another way to make more global changes in a document, and that is by using the design tab. So I'll just scroll back up to the top of my document here and now I'm going to use the design tab and I'm going to look over here to the right hand side and you see this button here paragraph spacing quickly change the line and paragraph spacing of your document I'm going to give that a click the style set that's in use is default based on the default template and now watch what happens when I hover over these no paragraph space compact tight open, relaxed, and so on. Now I'm making global changes to the entire document because the document is based on this default style set. I'm going to click on Compact now. You can experiment with this as you please. But I'm going to click on Compact and notice that it just kind of it tightened up the document. So there's a little less space between the end of a paragraph and the beginning of a new paragraph. And there's a little less space 
between the lines themselves. I can confirm all of this, of course, by making sure that my cursor is somewhere in this paragraph and then click right up here. So the line spacing is single. The line spacing after paragraphs has been tightened up a little bit. And there we go. So that's how you control the vertical spacing in your document.